Hey there, here we are. In this video, we concentrate on the effects in Eggbed Replay using the slider here and how to apply them, including and excluding the live looper channels. The effects are controlled by the two sliders available on the Eggbed. Similar to how we have five presets for one mode, we have two sliders for each mode. So in total, it gives us up to 10 virtual sliders. In the intro project set, we have assigned slider 1 on mode 1 with reverb epic and slider 2 with delay 4. The number 4 represents the rhythm. The decay knob is there to tweak your effects. There's something important to know about the effects. Effects from slider 1 apply to your audio input signals and to one shots. Under slider 1 you see that you have distortion and midi guitar as options for effects. You won't find this listed on the slider 2. All the effects of slider 1 are applied as pre-looper. This means if you apply a slider 1 effect to a one-shot or your audio signal and start recording, you will hear afterwards that the effect is also recorded in your live looper. The slider 2 effects apply to the entire set, meaning one shots, pad loops, and live loopers. So it's basically on the master trick. And hey, if you haven't learned about the loopers yet, go check them out at the link below. Come on, don't be lazy, it's worth it. The main effects in replay are reverbs, delays, low pass, and high pass frequency filters and distortion. However, you also can control volumes of one-shots or of the main master volume. At mode 5 in this set, you see for example that the sliders are set to control the volumes of the two live loopers. That almost wraps up everything you can do with the sliders. However, we have one more very exciting thing for you. It's called MIDI guitar and was specifically designed for Eggpad Replay from the company Jam Origin. It's an audio to MIDI solution that works for your two first two guitar strings. It allows you to add bass sounds to your strings in real time, which is super awesome. So now practically you can use your first strings for bass sounds, use the pads for drums, and play the guitar strings at the same time. This means now you have all tools and knowledge available to perform as a one-man band. Congratulations!